I work for. So I was driving to work the other day, and a question popped into my mind, and it was, who do you work for? It wasn't the first time I'd heard this question, and it wasn't the first time that it's ever popped into my head, but it really, really resonated with me this time, because it, 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 it's really changed lately. The question, there's three aspects, obviously, who, there's work, and there's for. So of course, everybody's going to have a different interpretation of who they work for. Most people would say, you know, my boss. Other people would say, you know, my children. Everybody, everybody's going to be different. So the interesting part about this, we're going to break down who, work, and for. Okay, the main thing obviously in there is work, and work is viewed as a burden by so many people. It's, it's quite sad how many people view work as a burden, considering it takes up the majority of our lives. When I think of work, I don't, it's just a word. It's just a word that means I'm going to a place where I do some stuff for other people. I, I'm lucky enough to own my own business with a business partner who's Jason, who's involved in Life Beast. And when I work, I work for him. I also work for my brother and his, and his personal development. I work for my mum and my dad. But I also know I have another job on the side as well. I work as an exercise physiologist uh, under, under my boss. But even the boss, the word boss, can sometimes have a negative connotation. He is probably one of the biggest inspirations for me. He lets me be completely independent and work. He encourages me to do better. And that's what a boss should be. They shouldn't be the person you feel paranoid around. They shouldn't be the person you go, oh God, I can't act myself around them. A person that you have to change your values for around them. So when I'm at work there, it's still work. I obviously don't view it as a burden, but I still work for him. And I work for him and he introduces me to his family. So I now work for him and his family and his development with his family. I now want to benefit his business more because I, I just work for them and their personal development. It's more about their growth. So I took this concept to someone uh, that afternoon who was really struggling with their work because they just saw it as such a burden. Uh, and it was really interesting. I asked, I asked her, I said, who do you work for? She said, what do you mean? I said, who do you work for? So it's a word from a boss. And she said it like that. And she said, I don't know what you're trying to ask me. It's, it just doesn't make any sense. You just ask this question, it just makes no sense. And so I just kept asking the same question. And it, it obviously frustrated her. But it was incredible how locked she was in the definition of working and who she was working for. And that working had to be working for someone else. That working for their benefit, not... Which therefore makes the whole work thing a very kind of a lonely experience in itself. Which, if you're there for three, you know, a third of your life, if not more, which a lot of people are nowadays, then it's not a very beneficial medium to life, is it? So, what I want you to try and picture, so there's who, work, and for. If you could change who you work for, maybe, I'm not saying leave your job, but maybe understand them a bit better, get to know them, get to know their life. Understand what their drives in life are, why they are the way they are. They might be great to you, they might be not so great. But you could then work for their benefit, work for their life, whether it work for their family. And it's not so much work anymore because you're really doing it for the betterment of someone else. Obviously, hopefully they, they've earned that right and they deserve that right. But you notice when you really dedicate yourself working for someone or something, even if you're working to go on a holiday, but this is obviously a who situation, you just... You lose that middle aspect of work. Work doesn't become that negative connotation anymore. It's just who and for, and you're dedicated to that outcome. It's just who and for, and you'll do anything for that person and their development. And I'm not gonna lie, of course you get the benefits of doing this. You, of course you get the benefits. You're working for this person, they're gonna notice your dedication to their development and their benefit, and of course it's gonna come back to you. And of course it's aligning yourself with people who you want to benefit. Again, I said I'm lucky enough to own my business with the, with the business partner, Jason, and I, I'm definitely going to work for him every single day of the week. I, I'm so scared of public speaking, but I know that me doing public speaking and getting out in public is going to benefit him. I know that by me doing that, it will benefit my kids in the future. I can, it's, it's working for other people. When you really take yourself out of working for only yourself and only your own personal gains, you really, you really can develop personally. Which is quite funny because I just said you want to take yourself out of yourself benefiting personally. But whilst you're benefiting personally, you're benefiting so many other people. You're benefiting this person and then they'll benefit that person. It's this flow on effect. I've always said my, my dad tends to struggle with the whole, 
life situation, definitely mindset wise. Um, unfortunately, he suffers from depression, but I won't go into that now. So he naturally focuses a lot on personally developing himself, whereas one of his self uh, proclaimed flaws lies is that he is lonely. And you can't see the link there between him being lonely and him doing everything to look after himself. And everybody else can see that. And a lot of people are like this. They just go, I want to figure everything out by myself because that would make sense because if you want something done right, you do it yourself. So I pitched this question to him. I said, well, if, you, if you're lonely, why don't you try and you know, incorporate other people into assisting you? And he sat with it for a second, but it just didn't seem to fit because the moment he got back to how bad people were and how you couldn't trust them, he went back to the fact that he was just going to do it himself. So <clears throat> it's, it's an interesting one, and it obviously applies to many different situations and different people depending on their lifestyle factors. But if everybody could work for everybody else, then everybody else would be getting looked after. Like, I'm not saying working for their business, I'm saying working for everybody else's development. But as soon as you start looking after yourself, you're the only person that's looked after and there's no integration with everybody else. Break down the who, the work, and the for. And if you realize you're actually working for some really, really good people, maybe for a better outcome, maybe for travel, then that's, then that's fantastic. You'll re, you can really benefit people in your life and around you by working for their outcomes. You will always benefit personally by working for other people's outcomes, and that is a fact. Just give it a crack.